Good morning, my little chicken nuggets. It is a good Thursday morning here. Nice bright sun coming up in the sky. Kind of cool this morning. The birds are chirping. It's a good morning and, and oh, we got a new basketball goal. You little chicken nuggets, y'all got a new basketball goal. How exciting is that? Wow. This is a beast of a basketball goal. Somebody must really like you guys. Man, I could even dunk on this goal. I think it'd be okay. Look at that. Wow. So thanks to some uh, generous people who love you guys and donated some money for you, we got this basketball goal that hopefully will be here for a really, really long time. Uh, but it's a, it is a very stout goal. The reason why we bought this one is because it's supposed to have uh, a lifetime warranty on the backboard and some of the parts and it's supposed to be heavy duty so even when people even when you guys get big and you're dunking on this all the time it's still supposed to hold up to that so we bought this goal so to hopefully last a long 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 time okay but look here's the deal this goal is very stout it's very sturdy uh, it's made to last a really long time uh, however you can't just have a goal made of heavy metal and steel and that stout that's sturdy and stick it in the sand can you what happens if you take a basketball goal any basketball goal or anything that's heavy and you just stick it down in the sand is it gonna stand for very long no it's not that's right it's not gonna stand long and so not only do we have uh, some folks that really love you guys and want you to have something nice that donated money for you to have that goal but also coach Bob spent basically all day Saturday and all day Sunday working on getting this goal into the ground. So the hard part was, wasn't was the putting the pole up or the bas or the uh, backboard up. And you guys that helped me and Coach Bob put that backboard on there know how heavy that thing was. But that wasn't the hard part. The hard part was this part right here. Let me show you. That's the hard part. That concrete right there. That concrete holds this goal in, in place. Coach Bob had to dig about a four foot deep hole. That's about two or three feet wide. That held, I think he told me 25 bags of concrete. 25 bags. So why do y'all think it's important to have 25 bags of concrete into the ground four feet deep with metal rods going through it before you ever put that goal up? Why do you think that is? That's right, because it has to have a foundation. The goal has to have a foundation that's going to hold it in the ground. It's going to hold it in place. Because as you guys know, we have storms and hurricanes and strong winds. And we don't want this basketball goal falling over every time a strong wind comes up. And we don't want it to break when it falls. So we have, a, have to have a huge foundation in the bottom. Now, last week, I challenged you to be somebody in the Bible. Do you all remember who I challenged you all to be? Somebody remembers, I know. Somebody who would remember that? Who's got the greatest memory and is the, is the best academic person in the elementary school? Let me think. Who do y'all think it is? All right, Shire South. What do you think? Who did I challenge y'all to be last week? That's right, Shire. I challenged y'all to be David. Now, here's the thing about David. We talked last week about you know, Goliath challenged God, challenged the children of Israel, challenged David, and David accepted the challenge because he trusted that God was with him. But guess what? David didn't learn about that. He didn't create that trust. He didn't have that faith based in that one moment with Goliath. Where do you think that faith and that trust came from? That's right. It came from when he was younger. And he says in there in 1 Samuel 17 that he had, when he was out with the sheep, he had a lion attack the sheep, and then he had a, a bear attack the sheep, and that God protected him in both those situations, so he was sure God would protect him against Goliath. So if you want to think about it, David had a foundation of faith that didn't come from the moment that he was facing Goliath. It had a foundation of faith that came from living life with God beforehand. It's the same way this basketball goal. This basketball goal is strong in the steel and everything on this thing is, is really stout. I mean, it's really, really, really heavy. Um, but it's the foundation underneath it that's holding it up. 
And so that's the way it is in our life as Christians, guys, too, is that, that our foundation of faith in God is what's going to hold us up. You know, if we wait until the Goliaths come, until the challengers come, until the Brady Joes of the world come and challenge us, we're not going to be able to stand up because our foundation is going to be weak. But we got to build a foundation of faith with God. So David built that while he was out tending the sheep. He trusted in God to take care of the lion and the bear. And so he had no problem trusting in God against Goliath. Do you trust in God? So we had a bunch of kids today that challenged me to a race, of course. And so over there on the playground, uh, or actually right here in the grass, we ran a race. And well, I'll show you that in just a minute. And then after that, they were all playing on the playground and wanted me to video them. So I videoed them playing on the playground. Well, guess what, guys? That playground equipment, what do you think it has underneath it? That's right. It has concrete. It has a foundation that's holding that playground equipment in place so that you can play on it. So let me show you that video. Here we go. Did you enjoy that video those kids playing on the playground and me racing them in that race man i am so fast you guys don't stand a chance now i, I know i get challenges every day but but i know you guys are really scared deep down in your heart you're scared but if you have faith in god you trust that god is going to protect you that god will be there for you right so be a david be a david don't let those brady joes or goliath scare you all right so here's a lesson for the basketball goal. You got a new basketball goal, it's nice, it's heavy duty, it's expensive, it's supposed to last for years and years and years, but only, only is it gonna do that if that foundation that's right there is strong enough to hold it up. It's the same way in our life. Our foundation with God has got to be so strong that nothing can tear it down. And as Jesus said, you can build a house on the sand, but then it's gonna go what? Splat, that's right. But if you build your house on the rock, then it'll stand firm. All right, guys, let's pray. Father, we thank you so much, Lord, for this day and all the ways you bless us. And thank you for the fact that we're able to have faith in you because of what you've done for us in the past. And help us to have a strong faith in the future and help us to build a foundation on your word and a foundation on faith in you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, guys. My little jelly beans. Today is Thursday. Next Friday, we are scheduled to have the game on game day. Uh, it's going to be exciting. Uh, hopefully you've all signed up for your basketball teams or volleyball teams or you're just excited to play some kickball and some uh forgot the name of it now oh cornhole play some cornhole as well so we're looking forward to next friday looking forward to y'all being a part of that all right my little chicken nuggets y'all have a great day and all of you that challenged me to a race so i'm coming for you oh don't worry those little kids i raced the other day they were slow they were easy to beat but i know some of you are fast we're gonna i'm coming for you in a little bit Put your faith in God and build a strong foundation. Have a great week, guys.